Mom TV here bringing you another tutorial. Um, first thing, I just want to know what you guys think about the edit I do in the beginning of my videos. Um, I do take a little bit of time doing them just so I can kind of show you what I'm going to be going over. But just give me some feedback on if you guys like them or not. If not, I'll stop doing them. <laughs> um, first thing, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the wave effect in Sony Vegas. On the edit in the beginning, it's a little discreet, but you can actually see it if you're looking for it I guess it looks pretty cool I'm gonna be teaching you how to make it look the best um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it it's something you can kinda of mess around with but let's get started um, first thing this is the song here black cinematic bars and my clip I've already placed the marker where I wanna add the effect so with that being said I'm gonna disable resample on these two clips just switches disable resample if you don't know how to place a marker, you just press M as in monkey on your keyboard and it places one of these orange markers. So on this marker, I'm going to go ahead and cut the clip where I want to add my effect. That's S on the keyboard if you don't know, that's S as in snake. Um, then I'm going to go to my video effects, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on wave for the wave effect. Um, click the reset to none, we want to customize our own. Uh, before I go any further, this is an effect that you want to be a little bit longer. If, it, if the effect is too short, it looks weird and it, it just doesn't look right. So we're going to slow this clip down a little bit. If you don't know how to do that, you just press control and then drag it out. Alright, so to get to your event FX, click on that green button and it brings us right back to the wave. Next thing, we're going to click on animate and select the first keyframe. Keyframes are a uh, little diamond right here. Um, first thing, you want to bring up the amplitude first. If there's no amplitude, there's no effect at all. Um, second is your waves. Um, that's the amount of waves that are in the effect. As you can see, there's a bunch of them and it looks super ugly, so we're not going to use that many. Um, you really want to use two or three waves four at the most. Um, for the tutorial, I'm going to use three waves. One, two, and then sort of a small one there, I guess. Um, amplitude, you want to be around the same as your wavelength. Amplitude is how high your waves are. Also, super ugly if it's too high, so don't put too much. And then you also have your phase. Oh, sorry, I didn't say before. There's vertical waves that you can add, which the waves go this way. And there's horizontal, which I'm doing for the tutorial, which goes horizontal. Um, but anyway, horizontal phase is how the waves move. If it's too high, it looks strange. I like to put it just above whatever these are set to. And then to get the actual wave effect, if you don't use keyframes, it's just going to stay like this the entire time. If you want to have the actual effect, go to the last frame and just bring all this stuff down. So let's see what that looks like. Alright, so that looks pretty nice. Um, there is a lot of cool things you can do to make it look a lot better. Um, one thing that I've learned with effects that happen suddenly in Sony Vegas is if you add a little blur your eyes seem to adjust to it a little bit better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our video effects and go to Gaussian blur what this is is basically like it I mean there's, there's two different blurs in Sony Vegas you can use Sony Vi or uh, sorry defocus it's a little strange sometimes it messes with your light a lot I like to use the Gaussian Blur, it works a lot smoother, so that's what we're going to do for now. Um, it's going to be reset to none, click on animate, select the first keyframe. For this, you just want to add a little Gaussian Blur on the horizontal range and vertical range. Don't You don't want to go over 27, because as you can see it's super blurred already. I mean, once you start going really high, you can't even see what's going on. So for now we're going to put it at 22. Let's leave it at 27. 
and then last keyframe, uh, maybe even sooner, we're just gonna set it down to zero. So that looks pretty cool. Um, some more things you can do with the wave effect. If you have a, a nice drop like this song does, you can add some event pan crops in there. Kind of give it a little shake. So we're gonna go to your print event pan crop, first keyframe. Make sure this is selected or else you'll get something like this and it's really ugly. So make sure this is selected. Bring it in a little bit. That'll give the effect a little bit of a pop. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a couple shakes, maybe five frames in or so. I, I just lost count already, but I'll add another one. And then last keyframe, I'm going to restore it so that it pans back out. it as you can see we have a pretty nice effect going on um, it's a really cool thing you can work with there's a lot of different things you can do with it just kind of play around um, but aside from that super easy tutorial super quick hope you guys have a lot of fun with it go ahead and leave a like and a comment and a lot of feedback and hopefully if you guys like my tutorials I'll keep making them oh one more thing before I leave as always, I have put this clip and the song in the zip file in the description. Just click on the download link and you guys can grab that. Thanks guys. Bye.